everybody welcome back to the F16 conversion to an F86 yeah I think I'm gonna do the inlet right there It'll look way cooler just kidding so I took the nose cone off because I'm gonna put all my air valves and all that stuff um, air fill and receiver switches and all that fun stuff up front here so let's show you how I did that so it's been a little while i um, been working on these saddle packs here so this is a almost completed prototype um, I took my three four cells and made two six cell batteries there you can kind of see how it straddles the engine there just like we need and it uh, keeps most of the weight right above the CG so um, I'll make up a video later of kind of how I did this um, I'm not gonna show like the soldering or any of that kind of stuff um, but I'll kind of show you how I wired everything but um, so that's what I've got going on with the batteries um, I also soldered up all my connectors for the motor and the ESC which I have way down there um, you can kind of see how the batteries are going to connect up so the battery leads will come back here the ESC leads will connect to the battery and then I'll have my short connector that'll connect over to the other side so that we're wiring them in se uh, series but um, that'll come a little bit later but uh, I did wire up all my bullet connectors and everything to the ESC and I do have the motor connected to the ESC as you can see back there so we've got that going alright so what else have I been working on uh, so what the heck is that a lock mechanism to hold the wings on new no. that is how we balance the uh, CG so I just did the B1 Bob method and took an L bracket um, you can see under there I just pulled the wings out just a little bit um, marked on the fuselage where my CG was and centered it up and then we just took uh, these big paper clips and you can kind of hold it right here and two people can lift it up and you can see whether or not you're balanced or not so the cool thing is is we're pretty darn close once you get the uh, get the cockpit and the pilot and the air valves and all that stuff in here it's uh, pretty darn close uh, once I add my second receiver battery pack, I'll just put it up towards the uh, front side of the nose here. Um, it's just about perfect. So, um, And I use 9 inches from there and then 9 inches back, which is right in the middle of, right in the middle of our L bracket there. Alright, so been doing that and what else oh okay so where this the canopy frame um, comes up to the fuselage this was probably about a eighth of an inch lower and so I took Bondo this entire area right here Bondoed and then reshaped and then matched it to the fuselage shape there so wasn't too far off and I could have just left it but that would have just bugged me so here on the other side I'm still working on it um, doesn't quite match up just yet so alright and so the big news well actually not yet okay so here I'm gonna have to redo my um, air tubing and everything it was getting in the way of the wiring for the ESC and all the wires and stuff that I need to go through so um, so I cut that off I ordered these from DreamWorks RC I got uh, different colors as was suggested before it'll make my life a little bit easier um, so I'll be putting those in pretty soon um, so that's fun um, but 
I've decided I was trying to figure out where I'm going to put the air fill valves you know put it in here do I I was thinking I could probably just make it so I could just do it right from there in the cockpit or um, I don't know I want easy access and there's not a lot of room back here so what I've decided to do is we are going to chop off the nose I know that sounds scary but uh, I've seen a lot of models that uh, do it that way where they'll put the receiver and all that up front but I'm gonna have my air sequencer my fill valves my air gauges uh, my receiver off on switch all that stuff will be right in here and by cutting right along that it won't be very noticeable because this is painted a different color than the rest of this anyway um, so actually that's a really good spot to to do it so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now Okay, so if you're really patient, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue this, but you can see I've got a nice, super clean line that um, is going to require barely any filling or anything like that, plus it'll still look like just a panel line, and that's all I'm doing is cutting right on the panel line. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish that little process up, and... Uh, Show you what it looks like when we're done okay so here we go we've got our nose cone off here and it was a little bit more difficult to cut through the carbon fiber there but I guess we could would kind of expect that so so the very first thing that we need to do now is we need to make um, some type of a bulkhead here so that this retains its shape um, and then we'll have it come out just a little bit past the front there so that this has something to grab onto so um, I'm gonna make a template using this side uh, because the nose cone doesn't deform quite as much as the um, fuselage did so I just want to make sure that we retain that original shape so um, I've got some plywood there. It's underneath the wheel right now, but um, we're going to go ahead and make a, a template right now and get that out of the way. So, um, but uh, basically, our air valve will be right up in here somewhere, and we'll have our air gauges um, up towards the top above that there. Um, the off on switch for the receiver and all that um, It'll be nice and easy to get to if we have any airline problems um, We'll know that it'll be right there and we can get to it and I think this will make life a lot easier so and you can see how much space we've actually got for Whatever else we might need to add such as um, I have decided that I am going to have an operating canopy um, so we'll need a servo in here for that. Um, I got my 
bonus check, so I'll be getting a JR11X, so we'll have enough channels to be able to do all this fun stuff. So, All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make that uh, template right now. Okay, so I've got my pattern all drawn out on the plywood, and I was going to do one of the inside um, planes that you know that all this stuff is going to go on um, but I think I'm going to make that out of cardboard first and just get it the right shape um, right from the get-go I just kind of traced around the cone on that but I don't think that's going to be very accurate so uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out because uh, this is the one that I'm worried about for right now